like 11.30 at night on Thursday. <clears throat> but I did a bunch of readings today and I can't sleep. So I thought I'd do a video for you. Um, a bunch of you liked my last video about destiny, free will, and life purpose. So I got another question after I did that video of does the cycle continue um, if we have reincarnation? Do we just continue without stopping? Again, this is just my opinion and my understandings from doing thousands of readings and meditation and my own spiritual practice. But my understanding is that we reincarnate to learn life lessons and each incarnation is to help us learn a specific spiritual lesson and we continue to incarnate as we have to continue evolving. But once we've evolved to what is often called nirvana or non-attachment as Buddhists consider it where you're just part of your life without any ego-based attachments, um, then we have the chance or the choice to become a spirit guide. All of us have spirit guides. It's like a guardian angel that's specifically assigned to us to help us in each incarnation. And once we've evolved as much as we can and basically hit that pure love nirvana state, our spirit can have the choice of being a spirit guide or a guardian angel for someone else as they go through life. So many spirit guides have actually been humans in their past lives, and that's why they relate so much to our struggles. Some spirit guides, like my spirit guide, Robin, um, has have not been in human form. She is actually angelic form, and that's because, from my understanding, we have a very strong connection, and she has been guiding and protecting my spirit through many different lifetimes, which is why I do the spiritual work that I do now. Um, but in most cases, a spirit guide is a spirit that has at one time been in human form. And again, that's why they understand our human struggles. So to answer the question that I received after the last video, yes, the cycle does, in a way, discontinue when we reach a certain level of spiritual development. We then begin to start a chapter or start a cycle of being a spirit guide, if we so choose. But even then, our spirit is continuing just in a different form. So I hope that answers the question. I connect to my spirit guide on a daily basis. Her name is Robin. She's been with me for 46 lifetimes, which is many lifetimes. That's why we're able to communicate so well in this lifetime. And she actually asked God to allow me to see her and hear her in this lifetime. And that's what helps me with readings. It helped me get through um, challenges with having a disability. It's helping me get through my journey with cancer, connecting with her, and meditation practice for sure. So that's a little bit about the cycle of life and reincarnation and spirit guides. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And thanks for listening while I have insomnia and needed to unwind from 
a bunch of readings today. I got to read for someone from Egypt. I got to read from some for someone in Texas and connect her to her mother in spirit. I got to read to or for someone in Germany and I also got to read for someone in Los Angeles because it's all energy so I can connect to the energy no matter where I am as long as I have their permission and their loved one's permission in spirit a reading can be done from anywhere but it was a very busy day and that's why it takes me a while to unwind. A lot of you have asked me also where I got this pillow. This pillow was given to me from by, or by my friend Megan. And it came from Target and I love it. So this was a Target find. I have a bunch of fun videos planned that I hope to get up soon. And until next time, love, light, and blessings. Bye!